three, six, five. Shake my hand. All right, guys, I'm back with another one. It's been a minute. This video is actually quite interesting because you know I'm, I'm much more into institutional charts. So Forex, stocks, I'm there. I hardly ever flirt with synthetic indices, you know, the derivative, the broker, etc. But my little brother does. My little brother is 19 years of age. He did my course twice. <laughs> Smart kid. He did my course twice. And you'll see with the screen grabs, I'm, I'm going to put a screen grab, you know, of his results. He's withdrawing a thousand US dollars, two thousand US dollars every other second or third week, right? This is phenomenal for a 19 year old. When I was 19, his age, I was working part time at a farm very close to my university many years ago right so 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 things are changing anyways me and my little brother spent an hour back testing step index right so we draw all our supplies all our demands we explain what's going on can can, can this broker derive binary.com uh, can, can these synthetic indices be perfectly analyzed through supply and demand uh, uh, in the same way we, 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 we can maintain a high winning rate in the forex market and the answer is yes so if you like this video comment down below so we can do other charts together so v75 volatility 100 jump index etc but enough time let's get back to the charts see you on the other side 365 Right, naturally shake my hand, my boy. Let's do this. Yeah. Right, so, so 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 it's basically not like a, a, an intense one-on-one -on -one consultation. It's more really like a, a big testing session, um, 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 which we might actually learn a couple of things. I mean, I I don't like playing here. You know, you know, I don't like these things, man. The broker <laughs> be, on, be on some weird stuff. Like like it's it's not about being scared. It's just is there is there even a point in derivatives are their own liquidity provider and so market manipulation is pro right and then there are many debates around it and and also the fact that these big time frames i mean what the hell is this dude you run loads like oh if it does you take like time because you saw there with even with the with the with the monthly i just monthly, gave yeah you're low probably like on day, but weekly, monthly, not even. You know, you guys should protest. Because the, the broker is hiding something here, man. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I'd cool. I think it's one of those things that you just need to leave it on for the whole night and come back in the morning. The way it's loading so slow. That that's daylight robbery, dude. The, and, and I mean, these guys are new, so so they can't have that much data. And this is kind of like why I don't like using them. Um, this is how they write real accounts. So so what with the with the with the demo accounts show. How, how, how do people still get scammed? You know, I'm so shocked that people are still getting scammed in 2021. <laughs> like, honestly, like the stories I hear, like someone sold me an MT5. How are you buying an MT5? How are you still being scammed? Dude, I'm giving up on the monthly. I see there's a little bit more data on the weekly. I'm giving up, I'm giving up, I'm giving up. And then, all right, so so it's unfortunate, right? Because clearly there's a lot of man ga mind games here, but I'm just gonna draw the usual stuff that we know, right? So for example, this didn't work. And, and, and it's obvious, I mean, if you look at the monthly, you can tell that we don't have all the data, but we can already tell that STIP is, has been in a, in a long-term downtrend since about 2019. Yeah, yeah. And, and maybe, maybe that's all there is, I mean, when, I'm just gonna quickly run a Google search here. When did Dereev start? Because it's not like they're that old, right? Right, 2010, right? Around there. 
and and then these guys keep introducing assets here and there, here and there. But they claim their story starts in 1999. Yeah, there's no time for this. I, 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 I'll do a deep dive, but these guys say they've got 20 years of experience. So they've been in the game since about 2000, 1999, 2000. Um, but I, I don't know which one of their assets have all that data because this, this is not doing much anymore. It's done. But look, from the little that we can see, right, there's a definite downtrend here since about, you know, May 2019, right? So the, it's, not, it's not surprising that this weekly demand yet did not work. I'm going to hit properties, give it a little blue color. Um, feel always looks better on the black, but there's a specific blue I like. Sorry, man, just that OCD kicking in, uh, something like this. <laughs> yes. ah, there we go. Right, so 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 we, we've got a failed demand here and it's very difficult to spot weekly supplies, it seems. You're gonna have to really hunt. I, I, just, wanna, I just wanna draw all these levels and then see how price interacted with them, right? So there's something here. And if I say there's something and you don't see it, just let me know, right? Let me know if you see what I'm seeing. Uh, but I'm looking at this bearish in golf. Yeah. yeah. All right, and price drop hit, then price drop, rallied. And then there's obviously the telethas and the structure, which pretty much really held price. So when price left, it came into the structures. When I delete this, and it's because it didn't work, um, um, we will we'll hold it to account later. We are still on the yeah, weekly. Like, Say that again. I uh, got a question, right? Yeah. You see those two levels above, there's the engulfing candle, then there's the telita, right? Yeah. So sometimes I would sell on the telita, right? Then I get stopped out, you know, wait, then next time, right, like on a different trade, right? I learned my lesson from the previous, right? right. I'll wait for the engulfing one, right? And but price then, tends by the telita. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now, 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 like, I'm so confused, bro. Because I can't be like reselling twice, that type of thing. Yeah. In, in the, uh, normally, you see, and, I, and, I, and I, I, don't, I don't think you can cut anything out on this thing, but I'll just draw a vertical line here. Right, so from there. Right, so just ignore everything on the right side of this, of this thing. We're looking at this just drop into this area of value. What I normally do is I'm very cautious of the fact that I need to know how big the distance is between the two zones. So potentially, uh, uh, pips and, and all that kind of stuff because sometimes you, you get to a situation where um, there's a lot of pips right between the two or in this situation which is a very weird situation because if you really think about it the area of competition is up to there yeah yeah you see that you, you right yeah looking at this green candle that's the area of competition and I don't know what other tools I can use on this thing um let's just get a, an arrowed line right and if you look here uh, on this engulfing right you, you get your fresh touch so price left and then came back in took those sell orders whoop consolidated then dropped fantastic but this is our area of competition for now and then price doesn't return to it again it's actually during the consolidation now i'm going to move this line uh you can make it look like that it makes no difference I'm going to put it right there with that wick there. It's this area of consolidation that holds price down. And the problem with this is this happens as often as price wants it to. Sometimes when the supplies are so close to each other, right? When supplies are very close to each other, most of the time price will rather break this first supply and take the sell orders up there most of the time. But in, yeah. in a place where the consolidation was this clean, and you can imagine this is a weekly drop. Right. Remember the, the imbalance rules. They, 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 they are more powerful on the bigger time frame. So if you if you see in a bloodbath like this, a strong big weekly candle leaving an area like this, you can imagine how fast the selling was on the daily and H4, right? So because of that, 
it, 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 only because of that, I would take a risk and sell here. I would say, look, given how my imbalance looks, there's a high chance that this sell will hold, right? But on currencies, if there's a supply above, I always wait for the one above because I've learned my lesson. Or I reduce my lot size and take the whole area like that. Yeah. But I, I just I swallow it. But, but I have to reduce my lot size, to, you know, just to, to kind of like compensate on, on what is actually going on. So it could look like this where you've just got one entry point here. I want to say. Uh, because if, if this was a currency and the banks were involved, this is literally how the banks would take this area. They'll just freaking sell here. And, and, and because this, the, the supply and the supply are connected, right? You can see that the, the, this is what intertwines both supplies, right? Price comes back into this British engulfing, drops to consolidate, and then really drops. So this would be one big supply. And if we had real uh, monthly data, you will notice if you see carefully with our lines, that all we're doing is playing here. Look at this. You see that 365 candle there on the monthly time frame? Yeah. So if I do that I, I, and just focus on the reasonable body plus area of competition, and I do that, put my stop loss just above this, so I've adjusted those lines just a little bit. Why This rectangle just won't, won't stop being weird, right? M25, right? That's why I hate it. But there's no other alternative, bro, because that other website freezes. Really, yeah, uh, true. Right, so check this out. You see this area now, the one that I just uh, uh, got from the monthly, you can see price yeah. is actually interested in this first Talitha. So there's a massive consolidation and then a bearish engulfment that won the argument that we are going down. All of this is what creates a 365 candle on the monthly. And that's all we're debating about. So then when price eventually comes to these areas, we're just looking at this engulfment and these Talitha areas, we're missing the whole story, right? The whole story is there was a 365 candle there and look at how price comes in on the Monday. Price literally tries to negotiate with price comes in just underneath and then turns again, right? So, so that's, that's kind of like how I, I see that kind of stuff. So, so if you get confused with areas very closely aligned, always look for confluence on higher time frames. Uh, uh, whichever, I, I, I've been getting migraine headaches, my guy. Can I switch on the main office lights? Before no I stress. go. No stress. All right, that's better. So, 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 so that's kind of like what I'm looking at here uh, in, in, in weekly. Uh, there are a couple of zones still to draw i'm just gonna ignore them and i'm gonna drop to daily just to save on time i'm gonna cancel all these zones because i don't want to get confused but we now know price is in a long-term downtrend so i want to see supplies being respected on the daily uh, um you know in terms of back testing because i think on, on this thing we can really go quite a bit put quite a bit of data what's going on here right Um, this is, this is March, 2021. Let's find January. And, and like, dude, oh, there's that weird VIX page. Have you seen that VIX page on Facebook? Volatility and Nasdaq page where people is just trolling each other. Honestly, there's nothing productive that happens on that damn page. But I saw a comment of someone saying, there's no ways, there's no ways you can hold a trade for four days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, Jesus, give me the strength to help your people, bro. I'm like, what? <laughs> I mean, look, there's a step index, right? And the guy who said it, he ended his comment with a good point. He said, your trade in psychology would not be able to handle it. And then I was like, okay, fine. It's a silly comment, but homie at least knows that his problem isn't the charts. His problem is his trading psychology. This thing has been falling since the 1st of January, 2021. Right, the 1st of January is somewhere here. Here's my first supply. So now I wanna see how many sell entries have been created on the daily time frame. Right, so this here is the 17th of January. Before that, 14, nothing clear. 
seven, uh, there's the first. So the first was with this one, that the supply that got broken, right? So the first of January literally starts off with a bearish engulfing pattern and it's a sell. There we go, right here. And then the price goes above and it breaks. So I'm just gonna ignore this. Here's one. Now, now you, you, you've done my module one, I'm, I'm, I'm so, 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 so let me know if I confuse you, but this should be very clear, right? So yeah. the area right there, order block, order block holds price down. Sell, simple, stop loss above, nothing happens to you, right? So there, those are good entries to, to still be in, right? And I know trading psychology would be a problem. We could draw demands, but all these demands are going to break fundamentally because we know that price is in a long-term downtrend, right? So that I'm not even going to waste my time on this chart drawing demands because I'm not even looking for any type of, 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 of demands right now. This is interesting about VIX. I've noticed that someone like me in VIX would struggle because I'm such a rule-based trader. And so I've seen VIX and the synthetic indices a lot of the times violate areas of value with a wick and still continue to fall or, or, or go up. So you can see here, the supply was popped, but then a bearish engulfing candle was put in place almost as if to, to, to kind of like restore it or fix it. Do you see what I mean? Here's the pop, yeah. broken supply. And naturally, I would have just assumed glass effect here and I would have tried to wait all the way up there, but price decided to take this. And it's like a 365 candle. Well, it, it's a bearish engulfing candle. So, so maybe it's not that much of a big deal in terms of 365. But in, in any case, there was this situation where whoever was waiting here, right? If your stop loss was here, you were screwed. So, so this is something to start taking note of along the way. Um, yeah, I've seen that, but I have no way of countering because in case I'm actually wrong, then I'll start putting my stop loss high. I'll yeah. Use more. So, 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 so what I normally do is I actually just measure uh, uh, the, the, the point difference, right? Between the area of value that was broken and where price stopped. And if I see a similarity, like, so, so here it's about 148 points. Is that correct? Let's, let's I'll do that. I don't know this thing, man. Okay, 0.17%. Yeah, okay, that's fair. That's actually way, way easier. Right, so let's, okay, so this is like about 0.0.17%. And what I'll do is, if I, if I see more of these along the way, all right, uh, uh, and they range from, this one was 0.17. So let's say they range from 0.17 to 0.25. I'm going to say on average, uh, the, the the derived broker likes to push price above my areas of value, right, at 0.17% to 0.25%. And so because of that, all my stop losses will, 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 will be aware of that. I'll just give price some room to breathe. So I might start off when I'm building my account with a smaller lot size to allow for these mistakes. Because remember, they could break a supply because it is now time to break a supply to push price up, right? And, and I don't want to yeah. be having my stop loss in heaven there and, and just charging yeah. the loss. Like, like I, I want to have like a, a basic, um, so I'm just, I'm just writing that down right now, a basic average stop loss thing. But their price price worked out again, weirdly enough after doing that. So now there's a supply there. Let's draw the next supply that shows up. There's another one here. Together this area of competition. I'm going to draw the next one. Complicated 365 candles. You see them, right? At the edge of this thing, yeah. the reaction to that demand there, price holds. And the other thing that I'm interested in, and I'm, I'm making notes. So now I know that there's a stop loss placement of, of a mean average of 0.17% to about 25%. I'm, I'm still yet to prove if that 25% assumption is true. But I also note that there's something interesting about glass effect. That's all I'm going to write here. Glass effect is very different. Uh, 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 on derivative, but it's just me. I, I, I mean, I could be wrong, but right now on the daily time frame, check this out, and I'm sure you've seen it already. Look at this, right? Talitha area. Look how deep this order block has been violated. That's one. But look at this. Price still bounces and then drops, right? So what these guys are doing is because, and this is my assumption, and I think my assumption is very, very much correct. Remember, we are dealing with synthetic indices. There are no banks in here. 
right? There, there's, there's no 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 big institution is messing around with an independent broker because an independent broker will definitely manipulate the markets for trillions and trillions of dollars. And so because yeah. of that, you know, when a bank breaks its own supply, it's going in a particular direction. But the Riv likes to play between, it seems, let's just look at this stuff. I mean, this looks like a good mix of support and resistance, supply and demand. I'm just looking here, right? So, so they would rather allow for, for price to bounce, bounce, violate an area of value, but still maintain the psychology. You see, see what I mean? Look at this. Price landed, this is a support, 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 a fake out, support, broken out, hit it to retest resistance, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. On top of my supply. So, so, so now, now I know that if I want to trade these things, I probably shouldn't throw retail trading strategies too far away. All right, I, I must yeah, kind of yeah. be a little bit more flexible. That's why I struggle because I know this is junk in the Forex market, right? I, in the stock market, I know this, this way of trading is junk. But because this is a retail trader's market, there are no banks here. Um, um, the, the supply that's been created is actually being created by traders, whether they know it or not. Um, there's some consolidation here. Uh, and, 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 and it would be nice to see maybe on Monday, because I, I know this thing operates during the weekend. So maybe next week, Friday, it would be nice to see if this area held here, right? Strong imbalance, strong imbalance, strong imbalance, not the greatest. Okay, engulfing, engulfing, strong imbalance, strong imbalance, uh, um, 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 not the greatest imbalance here. But since January, there's been one, two, three, four, five, six. What just happened? Yo. Oh, oh, oh. I don't, I don't even know what just happened, man. Do you know what I just happened? I think it was in network. Nah. Pretty sure it was in network. Nah. All right, cool. Nah, nah, nah. I'm uh, saying that because of your Meti 5 itemized, that sound. Yeah, I've been here. Uh, uh, that sound used to freak me out when I used to start trading many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> All right, can you now see my know. screen again? Yeah. All right, dude. This is it. The, the, the millions of traders in the world who've been buying a step index because they saw support, all those trades ended in tears for most people, unless you got out at the right time. That failed, that failed, that failed, that failed, that failed. Uh, I guess maybe there's something going on on the left, we shall see. But, but this is it. This is the step index in a summary of 2021. Uh, before we got kicked out of network, I was saying, look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six possible clean swing entries have presented themselves in eight months. That's, that's something very powerful about this broker to at, at least, I'm just, I, I mean, I'll collect enough data. I'll keep going back in time, even after we are done tonight. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a period separator, the one that I'm gonna design. And tell myself this is January 2021, right? So this is the beginning of 2021. And then I'm going to look at 2022 because, uh, sorry, 2020 last year, because I want to see um, 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 how, how serious this is. So I'm zooming out as far as I can. Look at this. The, the downtrend actually starts a whole lot earlier than Jan this year, right? So this is... September, just September. So now, so so if you think about it, we're about to complete one month of this, one year of this. So because it's August now, next month will be August. And um, again, from our currency background, we know that banks think in three months, take profit in a year in a 10-year plan. I have no idea how this how this broker thinks. I have no idea when this broker believes in changing its positional trends, right? Positional means holding for a long time. But I do know that January started off with a downward bend and it wasn't even the high. We're not even selling high. We were selling halfway through a downward momentum that started in September. But if you really look carefully, there was a long dip, but there is a, a, a better peak that starts here in 2019. September. Of September again. Yeah, this is, it's an interesting month, right? So now, and now this, is, this is on the daily time frame. 
I find this very, very fascinating. And, and generally speaking, man, this is how I back test my assets. Um, I know tomorrow I'm supposed to have a war room, but I am so tired. You know, I've been preparing so hard for the live class 7 September. Like just, just it's going to be my last live class ever. So if people come, they will enjoy. If they don't come, I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to do something that big again. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. So I've just been focused on that ever since I got back. This is interesting, right? So there's, there's, there's an actual strong downward push and then price kind of like rejects above it. And then they trust that they, they use this trend line as a supportive measure, but still going down, right? Yeah. So if you like, yeah. if you get addicted to, to like trend lines and all that stuff, then you'll find someone doing something like this, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad at. Uh, um, um, but, but, but my point is they still like and, and, and need to, to push to continuously keep pushing price down. Right. Anyways, we were done with Jan. From, from, from a daily time frame perspective, all I see is sell opportunities. In fact, if I was to ever start trading this thing tomorrow, I, I probably would want to start with selling opportunities. It, it only makes sense. But let's see if I can get price to shift. What's the thing? Did you say auto scroll lock or? Okay, that's better. All right, so unfortunately, I would prefer for us to do it year to year. So let's find January 2020. Right, January 2020. And then I will have to talk about it properly, like in relation to the previous trend, right? But if I was to draw a line across just to see if price before that year ended broke above. Price never closed above where it started. Does that make sense to you? This is January yeah. 2020. This is January 2021. Price never broke above its high. So I like to do this when I'm in the stock market. When I'm looking at investments, wealth in three years clubs, where to buy coins, I, I, I always look at my stocks to see if they have a tendency to close a year above where they started. Like uh, If you see a stock chart like this, say, this is a terrible stock to invest in, right? It's, it's, it's got a consistent nature to decline. So I now know that this downtrend has got nothing to do with 2021. This thing seemingly can't even close where it opened. There'll be many green days. There'll be many green days, but overall for a positional to swing trader, okay. you're better off selling. You're better off selling. Right. So let's, let's quickly unpack this thing. Let's have a look at, and by the way, none of our supplies in 2021 were broken. Oh, they were broken, but respected. One was broken. This one here, does the one with the wicks above, but all of them maintain their ability to push price down, which is, yeah, quite interesting. Okay, enough. Uh, how much screen space can I get? All right, let's do this. Okay, so. Pretty, pretty much start the year for the bearish engulfing pattern for the second time. And maybe next year, maybe if one January 2022, yeah. I'm just going to open with a big lot size sell <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then delete it. Get from up my... out of it. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> All right, there we go. Right, so so price starts there with the sell, fresh touch retest, price drops, doesn't come back. Um, there are minor PCPs. You remember the PCPs from the course, uh, potential continuation yeah, patterns yeah. here or there. Um, and these ones are the ones that are tested and eventually kind of broken. I mean, what would you say to something like this? All right, again, this thing to me looks broken from, 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 a, from a currency trader. I would say it's broken, but let's see the distance of the wick to the to the from the zone to the wick. It's about zero comma about eleven percent. Yeah, do you see that? Zero comma yeah. eleven. I'll say zero comma eleven. So remember, the first one was um, zero comma seventeen. 17. Yeah, and now the second one breaks my supply, but price still holds. Is zero comma eleven, which I find. So so you see. 
it, it's not much. It's like a, 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 it's not even a percentage. It's like a decimal percentage difference. Um, I'm just gonna draw this right across. Not only is it broken, but the supply holds for a lot of touches. For a lot of touches, right? Look at this. Price still comes back to it and respects it, right? So then price is creating lower lows. These demands are not doing anything productive for price. There's a lot of nonsense here. Nonsense, 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 nonsense. No clean order blocks. Nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. Bearish engulfing pattern, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe I rushed through the nonsense, but the first one I'm I'm thinking of looking at is somewhere here, something like this. I don't know. This is all nonsense, man. I don't see anything significant. Yeah, the first one to me, to me at least, is somewhere here. I'm liking this one only, all right? And then I'm gonna I'm gonna draw the reasonable body up to there. And then, you know, if you wanted to put in your area of competition, let's say you're about to take a trade, you know your area of competition is somewhere here, right? And your area of competition has been acting like some type of support or resistance. Look at that. So price bounces there, rejects there, area of competition here, comes in, rejection there, a uh, uh, rejection, 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 drop, drop, rejection, et cetera, et cetera, right? So, 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 so you know that's a valid entry. Like it's, it really is a valid entry. Uh, this is too close, strong imbalance confirming this zone. The next supply that I'm seeing is somewhere here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can, can you go back to that 13% um, supply which was broken? You mean 11%? Yeah, yeah, 11 this one, yeah, 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 yeah. They can go to insert, insert, yeah, indicators, custom, um, like Akin Ashi, like at the bottom there. I didn't even know this was here. I remember our other call, and what should I allow? Anything? Okay, just okay. Yeah. Can you see how it touches that supply? So it does, it looks like it you didn't break it like it came here. Yeah, that, that's that's what you were saying that day. But why 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 are they oh, the coloring is so messed up now? Yeah, you can I think you can customize it. I'm pretty sure you can, but I just don't. But it looks like it touches, then goes down. Then like looks like it didn't break anything. Right. How do I go back to normal candlesticks? Uh, you can like right click on the screen. Yeah. Then what? Um, indicator list. It's like the fifth thing. I hate this platform, dude. Yeah, okay, same, then I yeah. delete this. Yeah. Dude, look at that. I, I missed it. It's actually correct. Look at that. This is a bearish engulfing candle. Look at that. It closed way below. Look at that. Kind of. I mean, the, the, the Wix is a different contested thing. But overall, you're absolutely right. So price was coming here. Good eye, man. I try, I try, bro. I try. I'm going to start because remember we spoke about this the last time we uh, we, we, we with another video call when I was at the office. Um, yeah. Um, um, yeah. Is you because I I I I use a Kinihashi on currency indexes because of the gaps. Um, um. But yeah, it's nice. All right. All right. I'm with you. I agree. Um. I agree. I agree. I agree. Question now is how do I edit? But then again, I don't always use this, right? Because, uh, you know, indicators and whatnot, you know, certain uh, tools. I'm actually shocked that this is an indicator on MT5 because it's not an indicator on trade risk. It's not even under indicators. Like it's just switching your candlesticks to candles, read, um, yeah. a volume. So I don't, I don't even know. It's definitely not an indicator because I don't use indicators. I'm not even sure why these guys have it under indicators. Um, but yeah. It is what it is, man. Yeah, I would agree with that a lot. Um, it's just that I, I don't like the imbalance, but
But in terms of volume trading, it wouldn't matter because it's just all downward sell. So now I want to draw it. Problem is, it's just going to color will be a mess. Something like that. Oh, that's very nice, dude. Very, very nice. So, so we've got that thing that we always talk about in the academy, uh, the ladder effect, right, to the downside, which actually makes this a peak supply. Now that now that we've kind of like correctly drawn that, this is definitely a peak supply. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. You yeah. see now, right? Yeah. So, so now, now we like really telling the true story of price here, which is freaking awesome. I'm just gonna try and extend this all the way. Okay, price doesn't even make it up there, right? And the reason why price doesn't come back to these supplies a lot of the times is if it's a downtrend, remember it's price's job to keep making lower lows and, 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 and lower highs and, and, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, so, so it has to keep sinking. Um, um, it will come back up to some supplies, but those supplies better not break yeah, the overall structure, right? If the, if the tone is to drop, then it must drop. There's something that my friend once said, right? About I don't know about in the currency type of thing, but if it VIX 75, right, or any pay on this synthetic indices, right? That yeah. um price will create like an order block, right? Then come back and retest it. Like we'll never go much further down or up without retesting it. Yes, yes, yes. Um I could email you my my. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm writing a journal article for the Journal of Economics, and I'm talking about supply and demand there, even for currencies. So I know I haven't released my module three because I'm still back testing for a lot of people. But in module three, if if on the one hour time frame you've got a supply or demand on Euro USD or whatever, right? If price doesn't come back to that one hour supply or demand within the first 24 to 27 hours, it, forget about it, right? So, so, so what I've noticed is, and, and it's the same thing as saying with VIX, a lot of the times, where is that? I've, got, I've printed the first draft of my paper. It's due on the 15th of September. It will be published there. I'll, I'll just email you a copy if I find it. If I can't find the hard copies. I'll email you a copy. What are you talking to me? Oh. No, no, I was talking to Nicole. Hey, Nicole. She Hi. gone. Uh -uh. Hi. Hello. I'm, I'm, I'm going to video call you. I promise. <laughs> you promise. I'm just chilling here. <laughs> <laughs> right, but, but 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 say yeah. So so fundamentally, that's hella important, dude. Price, if price creates an order block, it seems to me that price, it depends on the time frame. So the same rule applies on daily currencies, but you have to give them a month. So if I find a demand, I'm, I'm, that's why I'm using those period separators. I need to at least see price come back to that daily demand in the first 30 days. Otherwise, the next time it comes back, there might be a market reversal. So now the trend has completely changed, which means that demand doesn't have a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, true. Right, but, but yeah, so so there we go. We got it with another one here. One, two touches, three touches, consolidation from an uptrend eventually gets broken, but it did its job. These ones, not much happened all the way down. One would argue that this was now starting to sell low. One would make that argument. Um, I wouldn't be mad at that. Um, but we can we can say it didn't work if you want to have like a just a pure you know, statistical outlook can say, look, one of these things did not work. And it's that white one that makes it look so ugly. Uh, what other color works on this VIX thing? Yeah, there's that red that I like using, but I don't think you like it. Can <laughs> you see the candlesticks in the background? That's all I care about. You see how this <laughs> looks so yeah. freaking weird. Uh, so try using a red. Red, any red. It's that one, yeah, yeah. This is what you like. Yeah. But then I get my candles are not like this. They're oh. like a problem. Yeah, so yeah. that's why. Clashing colors, man. Uh, I don't know waste time on this stuff, but you know me and OCD, I, I won't be able to like focus until I get it. Um, let's just use a different blue, maybe. 
Uh, you know what? Let's not look, fill look it. for that color. Let's not fill it, right. and then and then we'll know that if it's not filled, it didn't work, right? So something like that. And yeah. Then we we know. Okay, fine. This didn't work. So there's this three six five candle. All of this stuff. This one didn't work. But this to me makes a lot of sense, right? Because you don't really want to sell low. Although you need to be sure you knew that you were selling low, right? How how on earth would you know you were selling low? Was price getting closer and closer to a demand on the left, right? That's the only way we would know. And I, I wonder. Yeah, so wait, how can I avoid it? Because I keep selling there. Like this setup looks so familiar numerous times. I keep getting stopped out. Like I want to know why. Because it looks like a proper, like, uh, to lead area. It, it can is. See, like, price didn't give, like, price didn't give a second thought. And for some reason, I, I can't even scroll backwards, guy. This is it. This is the end of the road for this chart. This is so stupid. I cannot go back in time. Um, Maybe, maybe step index is a new asset. Like, I can't go beyond 2019. How long? Step index. Sorry, man. Let me just look this up. Nah, stimulates. I'm not seeing anything that would answer my question specifically the way I've asked it. Um, to be honest with you, uh, stimulated market rate of blah 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 um um and I'm, I'm i'm i'll be so disappointed if these guys don't load their charts fully because they understand what it means to us but the only way you would know safe or to avoid this is if this particular cell is getting close to a demand and right now with the way this chart is set up you wouldn't be able to tell that because you don't have data going back i should be able to see what's going on here are there any demands right now the answer is no but I don't know if that's true or if it's just that the broker isn't showing us stuff that we want to see or if the charts don't want to load everything, et cetera. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, it, it's a big problem, honestly speaking. And I'm not entirely sure, you know, how else to cure it. So, so I would suggest you use supply and demand curve. Do you remember that stuff? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I'll just curve it out, you know, you know, um, I, I think I teach that stuff in module two. If you just go to the module two videos, that's the only way I'll be able to hack this thing is to use my supply and demand curve. Because the idea is, well, how far am I in the curve? And the 2020 curve, like you just put in some grids, boom. Okay, maybe grids are ugly. <laughs> but you find a way to kind of like decide for yourselves, how far am I in the curve? And, and clearly, I mean, say, if we're looking at this chart without even knowing whether there's a demand or there's no demand, to make that particular you know, decision, you can see for yourselves, we're, we're way down the curve here. We're literally uh, um, 70, you know, if, if this was 100%, right? Let's say it was 100%, just by using this percentage thing, this supply, this Talitha area supply is somewhere here. Right, and that says 5%, which is obviously not true. What's a better way to do it? I'm trying to measure this thing. So if this was, I, I guess you could also calculate pips, you know, do it the long way. But essentially, this is way down the curve, man. This is way, way down the curve. I really wish this was trade view. It's also like 25. Yeah, it's, it's, it's much closer. I mean, it's really a case of, look, saying this is my, this is my uh, uh, 100%. And this is my, you, you are somewhere here at the time. You're somewhere here at the time. Uh, and I mean, you've already gone through a massive leg here. And, and, and what year, uh, what month are you on here? May. So you're already in May. It was like five months into the year and then price starts to reverse them. Yeah, because the price spent the rest of the year reversing a little bit up just to drop down again. So, so I think it's just that uh, the only thing to do with a broker that doesn't give you much information 
will be to use your supply and demand curve and just see how far you are. If you're above, if you're now below 50%, I would be very wary about selling. I would literally be very wary about selling. Um, and then price at the bottom here tries to give us some type of double bottom, but even that double bottom has its problems, right? Because the zone is broken. In my humble opinion, this demand is broken, but it's broken by, by an insignificant a, a bit again, like a, a tiny beginning piece. Where is it? There we go. This is how far broken it is, which is not that far. Uh, do you see this? It can't be a coincidence, buddy. First one was 0, 0,17. Second one was 0, 0,11. This one is 0, 0,12. And it's a demand. So, which means for a person with rules like me, I might miss out on good trades because I'm used to my currency setup where the markets truly respect all my rules. And my rules for this have to be slightly more flexible. Price violated this thing by just 0.12%. Uh, and then it was the greatest demand of all times. In fact, this demand is so strong, it took out a supply. It took out a supply. It took out a supply. It took out three supplies before giving out, right? And if we extend her across to the next year, we get that. Look at that, see, price lands into that same demand for a retouch and then price continues up. And I think that's all we can really, you know, rely on, right? But broken demand tends so, to so supply. Basically, so basically, Over right, it. it broke that supply to tell you the next time the price is coming, there's going to break it. What? Right, so which supply are you talking about this one? No, no, I mean demand, sorry, sorry, I meant demand. It broke that demand. It's telling the next time price will arrive to that area of value, it's going to break it hard. Uh, this side here? Yeah. Yes, so, 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 yes. So, 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 so the overall argument is number one, um, um, how we understand broken demands on, on synthetic indices is slightly different to how we've been successfully trading the stock on currencies, because clearly, this is broken to us according to all the rules. In fact, according to the rules that we carry in currencies, this is what we should have seen. We should have seen something like this happen. Boom. Into this supply. Boom. And then a continued downward trend. Because remember, a broken demand means they've exhausted all buyers and there's nothing in the way. right? But instead, once this supply was broken, once this supply here, was broken yeah, by yeah. this demand here, which was broken as well. What that meant was actually the way we break our demands, right? We're going to take everything. For me, it's still a broken demand, but I'm assuming they took every single buying power they had and they just push it forward. They throw it all into the markets, right? And this is what happens. Markets actually take out the first uh, um, 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 supply, Markets retrace all the way down for a little bit. Remember our zigzag, how markets move, markets move in continuous zigzags. Boom. And then after that, markets fly up again, fly back to the moon. Right, let's just go up to here because that's really what, yeah. what happens. And then and then, then a new, there's a peak supply, right? So you see there, you've got a momentum. A peak supply is created. If, if see, a peak supply is created after breaking or what, what for us, again, it looks like it's a broken supply. So let's drag it across. Where, where's the supply? It's this bearish engulfing pattern here that we spoke about. It looks like it's a broken supply, but just look at it carefully. Let's drag it all the way across into the next year, right? So price doesn't even come back there. Right. All the way across. Man, thank you for, for, for this one-on-one. -on -one. I think this is good content, bro. Okay, this, okay. Is, this is actually okay, like really need more. <laughs> am I helping? <laughs> nah, yeah. man, because I've been wanting to, to 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 help traders around this stuff, but I just never have the time. What's this? There we go. Remember, I said maybe we should allow twenty-five. Look at that. I'm sure, I can go down a bit. There, zero point two one percent. So, so, so my thing is, I've now got twenty. Was that twenty-two? 22%, right? 22, yeah. Right. So my lowest so far, every time a zone is broken, um, um, the lowest 
a size of the wick that breaks the zone, but the zone still does the job. So what that means is the, the, every time a supply is broken and the wick goes, the lowest so far has been 0.11%, right? And the highest now, and then we had 0.12 with 17. Now the highest is 0.22%. And I promise you, this is important for my stop loss placement because if I, if step index has done the same thing since 2019, I, I, I'm almost guaranteed of a foolproof plan. Right, because now this demand that broke a little bit by 0.12% had this much buying power, right? Remember, retail traders only care about trends. They don't care about the bend. They only care about trends. The trend is your friend. The trend is your friend. And so they all hopping, 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 keep pushing this market up, 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 up. Uh, uh, there's another wick here on the other side of this thing. That's 10%, 10, 11, right? 11. It's literally within the whole strata. And then slowly but surely, price starts to come. And then eventually, there's not enough momentum and there shouldn't be any more buying power here. Not after this. So strong demand that can take out a supply. We, we Remember, at the end of module two, I talk about how to know what areas of values are super strong uh, and, and to qualify them, they have to take out opposing areas of value. Which, hey, September... You, uh, pray for me, dude. I need a month off, but I can't take a month off. That's why I can't teach in November. I'm only going to give one more live class for the year so I can finish my other projects. Like my book came back with a couple of edits and haven't looked at it, but I would like my book to drop at the end of this year because all this stuff is in there. All this stuff is in there. And for those who like really? to read, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming when you said like um, now synthetic indices, right? Usually use like retail methods or yeah. like trading strategies, right? Yeah. So if you scroll to your left, right? Like I see, it looks like price has broke out supply, right? But I remember, can you see that long, what, green candle? To my left, this to one here. Left. And I keep going to your left. Like where that supply starts, the other supply. Which one? This one? Yeah, this now one move down slightly. Here. Now up, up. This one here? Yeah. yeah, now move slightly to the left. This until one? I tell you to stop. Not that other one. Yeah, now you passed it. You passed it. Keep going. That other one. Yeah, yeah. This now one I can see that red. Yeah, can you see that red candle next to it? On the left or right? This big one here? Right, right. This one there? Can you see how that red candle is inside that green candle, right? Yeah. Um, if I remember correctly from what the candle Bible, that that whole pattern is called, uh, what Harajime, some Harajime. Japanese name. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Called, uh, pregnant. Some some pregnant candle. Some something like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a sign for down downward trend. Yeah. Uh, 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 and it's also covered with a big rejection. You check this this whole area here. Yeah. So 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 you got your 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 harami thing, then your massive rejection or inverse hammer. You, you, you know how they are with their with their price action talk. And, yeah. Well, and then and then this to me would qualify as a bearish engulfing pattern, even though it's not the greatest, right? And then and then in terms of three six five, would we see a downward? We see complicated three six five candles if if we're already in a downward pattern, although. We're really at the top here, right? But the downward pattern starts there. So, so all of this is consolidation. If you really look at it, you, you are right. I mean, if you're talking about Celtic language, I agree with you. But if you really so think about was, it, all of this is consolidation. Was, yeah. My point was, um, it looks like it broke out proper supply, right? But now it to to them, it looks like it's retesting that Harajime supply. Okay, you can see what you're saying. Oh, okay, okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. I've just yeah, lost yeah. it now. Right. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Sweet, man. Yeah. Uh, for, for me, because uh, you know me, I just like to keep things very simple. I would have just perceived, I would have just perceived this as a massive Talitha range. Um, and then and then assumed that if, if, if price was dropping, then there's such a long-term consolidation. It's like pain, bro. Imagine you're in this trade for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is never mind. This is like the 
I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, 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 nine. it's almost a month. It's almost like 30 candlesticks here on the daily time frame. So this, if this thing consolidates like this for a month, then you, you this is no shock, right? You're gonna get the the the, the, uh, 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 the, the biggest trend of your life. Uh, and, and it's the same for uptrends or downtrends, right? This is normal because look at this. Because remember, consolidation is a massive campaign project. You're calling specific traders. Either you want buyers or sellers. And clearly here, they needed a lot of sellers to push price down. And, and, and what, what do you do with price? You create a range in, a range in market, right? So, so you remember market makers, blah, 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 blah. They have to create a range in market. What's a range in market? A range in market is a market that allows you to, to, to play your, your support and resistance game perfectly. Why? Because you got to make a little bit of money before they can rob the masses. So here you are, buying at support, selling at resistance, buying at support, selling at resistance. At some point in time, you're going to make the mistake of trying to buy here because it's worked a couple of times. One, two, three, four, five. You have confidence in your buy. Bra -da 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 -da, they rip you a new one. <laughs> and, and, and if you see the order flows, when people actually start to read the financial order flows to see how much money the broker made here, you will be so shocked at, at, at why this is even legal. Uh, but it does happen. Man, and then 2019 price then breaks out to the downside and continues. I mean, there are many other supplies that we can draw on this chart that still have not really you know, uh, where we haven't really used here. But but essentially, I think the point is made with step. It's absolutely um, 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 crucial that we understand that thing has been in a downtrend since, since the beginning of where I can tell from the chart. I don't know how far back this chart goes, but from what we can tell, the smart thing to do from step was to just simply sell it in 2019. Yeah. That's, that's, okay. that's, Simple as pie. Jeez, look at that. And you know how to count levels. Explain what you mean by levels. Like in a down downward trend, right? There's like yeah. levels that that will break. I think it was three or four before it reversed. So it's simply like a V-shaped value type of thing. We have to like the fourth item goes so back where it started. Is one is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay, but but there's there's something I didn't understand. You said it would break. What then? Before what happens? It will break like four levels. So like, you can see this long red rally. The imbalance here. Yeah. So you like yeah. you broke like one level right there. That this level. Like, yeah, this one here. For that like All right. one. So we we call this break of market structure. Yeah. Okay. So so yeah. you, you put it counting levels. All right. Cool. Basically. So the other three or four, right? Price return or something, something like something like that. All right. So I mean, now that's massive, that's what I want to understand. What do you mean price will turn after three or four? Like make I, it I just want to make sure I understand you. Yeah. So let's say, okay, let's continue. Like this is one, right? Let's just say this is one. Which one? This one or this one? It broke once. It broke the All demand right. once. Right. right. Okay. Yeah. It came back, did whatever, right? Then you broke that demand again. So you call that two. This one, yeah. Yeah. So right. in back. Yeah. So, 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 so you're definitely talking about BOS. It's very important. I'm I'm actually very impressed you know about this. So break of market okay, structure. Yeah. Yeah. Break. Uh, I, I can send you, I can send you like different parts of my book. Um, like there's, there's a chapter on this stuff, and then maybe you can read from that. Uh, um, um, but, but remember, break of market structure is key because it is the only confirmation you have on price direction, right? So if markets, yeah. if markets, and it's the same thing with currencies. We like to say if a demand is broken, what does that mean? Price is going down. Supply is broken. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. But 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 just count with me because I, I, I want to see how you understand it. So this is one. This is two. One, two, right? Yeah. It goes back down. Is there a level yeah, here? Yeah, I'd say that's yeah. Like, sometimes I get confused, right? So what I'll say is the upper one, the upper demand. No, no, actually, no. That's proper. That's proper. My bad. Yeah, because I could say that, like, 
I, 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 I don't see a demand here, but I would say something like this here. Look at this rally yeah. and then complicated 365. Yeah. 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 So in four will be there. I like how you say it there, like I'm in, I'm in your room or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, what I realize, yeah, right. right? Somewhere here. It's, yeah. On the fourth one, right, if you don't see a complete rally passing through that fourth um, rally, right? So like a complete, one, two, like the three, previous. Four. If you don't see a complete, what? Rally. Yeah, no, complete rally going downwards, right? Right, yeah. Yeah. Um, like, it will like, guarantee yeah. me that's four. Yeah. It will guarantee me that's number four. Then okay. I'll wait for price to come back down. That's when I'll buy again. So like create like a W on a V-shaped valley type of thing. Oh, okay, see the same. Yeah, yeah. It's all here, my guy. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. Uh, I'm not even making this stuff up, bro. I'm not even making this stuff up. I've been writing, dude. Books are generational. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see this on the camera, right? You see this BMS stuff? I don't know. Is it clear? Can you see anything? Can you see the words? Yeah, yeah sort of. Yeah. Dude, I've been on it. I've been on it, bro. Okay, cool. Yes. So, so you call it county levels. That's so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the problem is I still need to master it, bro. Like, like right. I, so, 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 so essentially what you're doing is you, you are trying to time a market reversal. I mean, is, is that what you're saying? You're saying, look, yeah, man, yeah. It, 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 yes, because markets generally, if you combine this on currencies, oh my goodness, and then you understand in chapter... Five or six, I, I talk about uh, uh, um, tra the trading session. So if you combine BOS, supply and demand, and what the Asian trading session is meant to do versus the London session, because Asian is more of accumulation. The London session creates the highs and the lows for the day. And then, and then the, the New York session does the distribution and accumulation phase and, and it repeats itself. You're good. So but yeah. There was a time where I actually wanted to do that. There's, I don't know. I, I don't know where I went so far in my research. I knew there was something. We go back to the basics, how a candle is formed. So if right. you go to the daily, right? Um, yeah. And if it's a green candle, if first we start off selling before buying. buying. So you need to time the station. Yeah, you need to time the station where, where the buying will start to form that yeah. long candle stage on the daily type of thing. But <laughs> I didn't yeah. go through because I had to do that type of thing. Sweet, so man. Time, and speaking of timing, right? I think I know I'm speaking on V75. I don't know if it works here, right? But there's uh -huh. something about 11 o'clock a.m. Okay. It's something like if you back test it, right? 11 yeah. o'clock, like for, for currencies, right? The day starts at like one midnight a.m., right? Yeah. Whereas for derive, I'm pretty sure it starts at 11 a.m. A.m. Really? I I don't know yeah. that. I I like. I mean, I like Okay. I noticed that by mistake. Like I was on a daily chart and I waited and then I saw like, oh, well, why is it only for me now? Check the time I was leaving. Then I back tested like every demand or most of the time, right? Every demand or supply that's created at 11 o'clock, it stands for the whole for, day. Then for the maybe whole day. Like, oh, yeah. All right. And Let's, can we do this again tomorrow? You're free tomorrow. I'm free every day, bro. <laughs> All right. So, so, so maybe, maybe we can generate a lot of content together, bro. But, but let's say, yeah. let's just call it a day and say we've done steps so that we don't conflict stuff. I'm going to type up some notes on this kind of stuff and then maybe share something with you via your email in case you want it. But it will strictly be around step index. And then tomorrow we can look at v, V75. Yeah. Yeah. No stress. Yeah. Cool. But, 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 but just to quickly conclude, you were right about the BOS thing, breaking of structure, market reversal, and, and look at how, how price breaks structure previously, right? So, so you know the trends. This is a clean break, dude. There's like yeah. no doubt about the fact that markets are going to continue. Clean break here. Clean break here. Look at this. There was some type of rejection. It, 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 it struggled. It struggled. It struggled. So you know when it comes back, the rejection here was the accumulation of buy orders. Right. This is why this demand takes out this supply, right? And so, and, 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 and another way to know that a demand is about to do that, even in currencies, is there is no real reason on earth 
why Price should create a PCP. Not a PCP just before it in a supply. This, you can see there's a PCP, right? The potential continuation yeah. plan for, for an uptrend. There's none. I mean, I can show you the trade I was supposed to chow. I was supposed to chow this so bad. Um, I, I was recording episode five or four of my TV series, How to 5X 10X Your Trading Account on my live account on currencies. Can you see I'm on the uh, on currency chart now? Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see. Yeah. Right. So, 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 so yesterday I tried to sell here, and and then I realized no, 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 no. Um, um, the, the the sell game is over. So what I wanted was price to 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 bounce, break this supply, which it did, right? But remember now, these are currencies, so I know if my supply is broken once like this, I know what's bound to happen. But I just want to show you what happened next. I I was stupid, I think. Because I, or, or, or maybe, you know, with the rules, and I, I just believe in missing out trades, but following rules. Ignore all of this, because you can see it now. What I wanted to happen yesterday was for price to then come back all the way down here. Why? Yeah. So I can get a clean buy low, right? And what price did was immediately after breaking structure, because this is, this is a structure, right? Remember, uh, BOS works both ways. Breaking an upward yeah, structure. Yeah immediately price creates a demand inside a broken supply. So instead, it, <laughs> and bro, I cried, bro, because I was literally at home, uh, uh, in and out, um, uh, making tea, playing with the dogs, you know, doing whatever. I could have just cleanly entered there instead of waiting for down here. Right, and, and, and so, and, and this was literally 15 minutes chat, and this was on the day. If I'd entered here, the exit was about 200 and something US dollars. Like a clean trade, 246 bucks. But now I know for a fact that markets are coming to this white line. Like if you go to H1, you'll see PCP. You see? So, so, so now I know, I already know. If I want, I can take a slightly high risk trade. It's high risk because it's not the best competitive entry point. But there's about 43 pips left here, right? So I might want to drill down a bit and find, look at this demand. What if this demand fails, right? It might not fail, yeah. but I would much rather wait for price here now. I'm just going to park. So when markets open on Monday, I'm going to drag my entry to something like that and then see what happens. But the, the point is I missed out on free money. I literally missed out on free money right here. Uh, but yeah. You know, not, not the funny part is, right? When I do see it, it hit itself and goes to the demand that you're waiting for, right? <laughs> when I see it, I'm like, man, it's coming down. That's when he actually hits it. Like, dude, like, like the market's playing with me, bro. <laughs> it's just playing with me, bro. <laughs> not even funny, bro. Hey. <laughs> nah, like, chill, my guy. More of this stuff. So, 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 so. When you do, because this is my first time really back testing the stuff in a very long time. What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out a trading plan for step index. I'm going to use the data that I have, right, for break of market structures. Only supplies have been working out. I'm going to I'm going to do all this here. You can see this this this, this structure breaking continues right across. It just continues, it continues, it continues, and then price takes the supply and keeps going down. It, but but what 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 Deriv wants is, is, is for retail traders to remain so emotional about it to a point where traders are so proud to write on Facebook, you can't hold this trade for more than three days. And the reason for that is they will play with people's emotions, right? Look at this. Another thing is you can look at the wave. When was the last time markets spiked up like this, right? It's, it's been a while. Like when there's a full blown, see this here? Massive back up. All prices done so far is a very clean, 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 clean drop. And when I say spiked up, I'm referring to the fact that markets end up breaking a, 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 a supplies, right? So, so I'm expecting something like that sooner, soon enough sometime this year. But I'll, I'll double check it and reconfirm where price might actually need to break a supply or one or two supplies and come back to a better sell high opportunity to continue down. Because so far on in 2021, the RIV has not broken a single step index daily supply. You know, from, from our understanding of what broken yeah. supplies are, they haven't. Yeah. In, in, in last year, they did eventually, where they pushed price up for a couple, maybe from, this is the 23rd of June, 
and they, they 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 rallied this thing all the way to I've seen a date. Give me a date, somebody. Like 10, about 10, September. 10. So about three months. They had a three-month buy rally, which was designed to knock out. So I'm gonna be looking out for this because before I even decide to take a trade on this particular chart, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait to see how price handles this supply. If price breaks this supply, and then I'm going to see how it handles this supply. And then I'm going to try and plot a waiting area somewhere here in these two. Um, 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 given, given the limited data we have, but, 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 but there is nothing right now to tell me that this downtrend is over. In fact, I know. right I now, more comfortable for sell up there. Um, one, two, three, the fourth one. One, two, three, four. Here, yeah. yeah, somewhere there. And 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 I, I, honestly speaking, I agree. I mean, what I would need to see right now is something like this. It will be slightly a higher risk trade because there's nothing that's telling us that trend is reversed. But I'd like to see this a clean break here. And then when I see a clean break. I'd like to see price come back here. And then and then, and then maybe I take a, a, a low key buy there. Um, it's too big. Yeah, take a buy there and take a buy here. So a very small lot size buy on the first one and then the bigger lot, I'll put it somewhere here in case that first one does. Have... Yeah, quick question, how big will your account be? For this, uh, man, I, I've always said, I feel like I'm just throwing money away on these things, but I haven't come back to these things in a very long time. So I would probably start off small, like a 200 US dollar account or something. I mean, I, I've got that pound account. Um, so yeah, maybe, yeah. I, maybe I'll withdraw a lot and then leave it at about 200 pounds or something like that, and then use that for trading. Okay, now, uh, before you go, right, you can just do one thing so you can give yourself like a rough idea how much you need. Just put a buy limit like now. Then you see how much difference is. Does that work? Goes, yeah, it cash. shows how much. Yeah. Oh, bro, you got energy, bro. Yo, you, you actually type these things out. <laughs> you got energy. What do you do? You just right click and thing. I right click on the line, right? Go to properties, then watch parameters, I think. Then I'll yeah. copy that number, then paste it. Because there'll be like some it. figures which like five, five items. I was on the wrong thing. 9232.3. And lot size, does it matter? At this stage, the lowest is 10. And so right now you try and get the lowest amount. Uh, if that's the lowest, I'll try and cover the whole area first just to see how much it uh, would guarantee is, is your 200 account. <laughs> it's too expensive. That's a hundred uh -huh. bucks. Oh, it's almost there, bro. <laughs> that's a hundred bucks. On the lowest. This is so cool. I, I wonder if people know that they can. This is why I don't even like um, 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 market execution. Because pending orders, you can actually see. Look, do that. You show you want to risk 54 US dollars of your account. But yeah, so I, 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 I'll play this game. I really would. I would. I would wait for this to break. If this breaks, and when I remember when I say break, I'm not talking about this. This. A range of Probably. zero from my eleven to twenty two. I want a clean break, uh, and then and then if there's a break of market structure here, that's fantastic. I want that value that you're talking about to return up there. I'm hoping to ignore this area because this glass effect overdue. Effect, yeah. But yeah. but it's not broken at all. So so this is a smarter play. I'm not even gonna lie. That's the smarter Tomorrow, play. Huh? Yeah. Now well, can we discuss something reducing zones? Because there's sometimes where my order like gets mips uh, missed by a couple of um, points. Right. So don't worry, you see too small or yeah, they'll really uh, missing something. 
Right. And if I leave this pen in order here, just so you're aware, this red candle could complete the journey. So I might get triggered into a buy before price breaks. So this is a, yeah. a high risk entry right now. I only want to take this buy after price has broken because it's too close to a supply. But my worry is price might take the buy now to break the supply without me and not even bother to come back. So instead of coming back down, what price will do sometimes is price will then create a consolidation at the top of the supply. You've seen that like they'll create a PCP um, um, like that a a AUD JPY trade I was in on the currencies. Yeah. So instead, so instead of price coming back down, uh, I, I, I've switched screens, eh? Instead of price coming yeah, back down to this level, look at that. They created a Talitha area, right? They just consolidate right there at the same place and then whoop, go out without me. So I'm going to delete this buy order. Or let's leave it. What's 54 bucks? I mean, 54 bucks. Or it's, it's like it's like a lot for a small account. So maybe I'll, I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's why we, I think the most you can reduce is to like H1. Anything below that because of the noise and whatnot. So it'd be like hard to decide. But H1 would be, I think, okay. Look what it looks like. Oh, sorry, I'm sharing the wrong. So let me go back to screen two. Yeah. Uh, uh, where is it? Screen, no, this one, screen two. Look. What's going on here? Which one is screen two? Thank you. I'm so confused. Two seconds there. All right, cool. Bro, can you tell Nicole I'm going to take a break, then I'll, I'll come back and give her a call, ne? All right. You, you, said, said, you said you would take I a break. Okay. All right, and call. Ma? What did she say? Yes. She said OK. She said OK, but you know. Oh, OK. Look, so look at this. This is on the H4 time frame. Can you see where my entry is? I'm taking that daily entry. So, so price could easily, and look at my entry. My entry was taking that daily point, right? I could move it yeah. down a little bit lower here. The problem you, with you'll it, miss it. I will, because remember, derivatives is a retail trader uh, 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 platform. I, I, I'm, I'm still thinking like smart money. As smart money, I honestly want to sell a buy down here, buy low at the bottom of the real demand. But look at all these retail traders, what they've done in the past. Rejection, rejection. So there's support and resistance here. This could easily become a support. A support. You see there how price was rejected here? How price yeah. sits here? Price could easily come here and turn. So we need to still. Yeah. Got a trick for that. Got a trick uh, for that. The yeah. Akin Ash. Akinashi. You think it'll show you? Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, man, this has been awesome. so productive. And I actually feel like even though it was your one-on-one, -on -one, I feel like I actually learned a couple of things. Um, I've been meaning to back this. So thank you so much. I actually thoroughly enjoyed oh, this. Oh, good, oh, good. Thoroughly oh, good. enjoyed this, man. Thanks, man. This, this was actually helpful, bro. I hate the color, dude. What the hell is this? Come on, man. Yeah, but you get the sense, though, right? Uh -uh. Yeah, I can uh -uh. put an arrow before deleting it. Oh. Like they need to respect us, you know? <laughs> At least now I can see what's cutting. Right, so so there it is there. But it still shows the same thing, man. I still see a support there with the retail traders. Uh, you see that? Uh, I'll, I'll... And what about there? Can you see that? Wow, wow, what's wrong with that? That whole support thing. I know how the support thing works, but this one here. The other one. The other lower. Uh, you missed it? The one in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't they take yeah. that one? Maybe. That's a big maybe. But you see, this I one is at the, this one is at the at the top of my, my demand now. So I might as well just go for that. Right? Can you see that? It's literally, yeah. it's literally me doing this. But now I can reduce the risk. So I'm risking 22. I think, it, I think you put your ASL too high. Too it high. Is, there's something more. Too, yeah. Yeah, below. Can you see that red candle? With yeah. like some doji candle inside. There's something about that type of candle with that doji inside, which I still need to back test. I don't know. Can you see, can you see that whole doji candle in that red? I see it. That's interesting. I didn't yeah, even know it. Really 
Bro, uh, this, is almost like, this, this is almost like my black dots on currencies. This is yeah. like a 50% body candle. Dude, are, are you writing this stuff down? This is great. I write something. <laughs> this is so cool, bro. But it still needs to be back tested, though. Because can you see how price went into that red candle right there before the first time it touches? Can you see it? They came down. Wow, we went yeah, up yeah. a bit. Yeah. That came, yeah, yeah, there. They yeah. went, we came back, didn't break it. They went up. There's something I'm, about that type of candle. I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to watch, I'm supposed to be watching um, the new Suicide Squad with the family tonight. I'm going to have to excuse myself. This is too fire, bro. This is yeah, too fire, bro. You're not bro. missing anything. Trust me, you're not missing anything. Is it also trash, but the first movie was trash. <laughs> Don't even yeah, say funny that. moment here and there, but it was trash. The first one was absolute trash. This is, I would rather spend my Saturday night doing this. This is gorgeous, dude. Uh, the, the, the only movie I'm waiting for is the one on the third. What's that? The Shang-Chi Ten Rings item. Oh, okay. Snake Eyes was trash. I watched Snake Eyes on my Time Wolf. It was trash, trash, trash. Um, yeah, I haven't watched it. Man, this is good. Brady, let, let, let me bounce. Um, I need yeah, to I sort out a couple of things in the house. I and mean, I think I need to just go for a walk. I don't want to miss my walk time. But this strong volume setting is coming down. This Actually, I'm pretty sure we will... I'm going to leave all this marked out as it is. And look, this is a bullish yeah. engulfing pattern. You see that the, the, the thing that Hakeem Ash was showing us? Yeah. This is a bullish engulfing pattern. Right nice. Mm, say, I think I'm going to have to do a part two of step index and put all this stuff together, man. This is too yeah. good to miss up. Right, buddy. And then tomorrow, yeah. let's I'll, I'll talk to you on WhatsApp. What time will be good for me tomorrow? Because tomorrow I nice. do need to host a war room. Um, so we'll see. But yeah, appreciate it, man. Love you lots. Love you too, bro. All right, tell Nicole I'll call her later. All right. Dude, and uh, how, how did it feel with Drain? How much did you withdraw? How much was that big withdraw you did on uh, the Danny Innes again? The total Pardon? value. Of, what was the total withdrawal you did the last time on this stuff or when you're trading VIX or whatever you're trading? Yeah, dude, I don't even know, bro. It was a large sum. I really don't know. <laughs> I'll be lying to you if I told you, bro. You withdraw it all at yes. once. Is there a way to check and you send me a screen grab? Uh, withdrawing, <laughs> and uh, I don't think. I'll try. I'll look. I'll look. Like, just check. Oh, you your history. Your, your MT5 history. Because I, I, I know I saw, I saw, I saw everything you bought. I was like, how much does this nigga actually take from the markets? I'll <laughs> check. <laughs> I'm proud of you, bro. My own little brother. <laughs> <laughs> Make that money, dude. Please, dude, listen. Yeah. Just, just go to your MT5 and then check, um, check history. And then go to that month. Was it the beginning of August or whenever it was? You, 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 yeah, you, August, you, there. There'll, there'll be a withdrawal amount. There'll be a negative side. Can you send me a screen grab of that? Because I know people think it's impossible to trade this stuff profitably. And that's because they know me to 365. Please, please, please send me the stuff so we can just get proof out there. Ne? All right. Let me do it now before I forget. Let me just... All right. Enjoy, enjoy your money, King. Thank you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Eh? All right. All right, shake my hand, boy. So I'll, I'll just send like the whole item. Just twenty three months. You show how much and whatnot. Even better, even better, dude. All right. Cheers, my boy. Peace.